This morning, law enforcement across the country are on high alert as we head into the weekend in Georgia already under a state of emergency. Governor Kemp ordering a thousand National Guard troops on standby just in case there are any protests over the weekend tied to the construction of a new Atlanta Public Safety Training Center. Atlanta police also telling us that they are ready for any needs and support that peaceful protests might happen after video in a high profile police brutality case is released. Protests are expected across the country as people wait to see the video in the death of 29 year old Tyree Nichols. Less than 24 hours ago, five former Memphis police officers were arrested and charged with second degree murder. They're accused of beating Nichols after a traffic stop and he died a few days later. Each of the five individuals played a different role in the incident in question. The actions of all of them resulted in the death of Tyree Nichols and they are all responsible. The district attorney says that video will come out at 5 p.m. our time. Meanwhile, Governor Kim says his main concern stems from protests over the future site of Atlanta's Public Safety Training Center. Those protests turned violent in downtown Atlanta last weekend. As you see here, a patrol car was torched and windows busted out at businesses. Things escalated after the shooting death of Manuel Payez Turan, who was killed by a state trooper at what protesters call Cop City. Authorities say Payez Turan shot a trooper. Troopers here in Georgia do not wear body cameras, so there are some questions surrounding the deadly shootout. One of the solutions in Atlanta would be to equip all law enforcement officers throughout the state who are post certified with body cams. It's real simple. You know, the Georgia State Patrol should have body cams so we could actually see what happened in the forest and get to the bottom of that. The state of emergency runs through February 9th.